guys. I am back with the Promised Contact Lens Review. I actually have a two for one, so I'm going to do this for DTA, DTLI again, um, Dr. Lee lenses, and then I'm going to just hop on and do another one for the New York N series from Ms. Lens. And I'm going to rush into that because that's probably one of the worst hauls I've had, and I am not happy. Today I'm starting off with these lenses. I'm just going to get right into it. These are called the M M I O one, I guess it looks like an I or an L. I can't really tell, but I'll put the link in the description as I always do. Now these look nothing like the picture, but I actually really like these. These are very zombie dead Halloween like the picture now looks like this. So they look very green. They remind me of the New York N green, which is why I wanted to try them. But in real life, as you can see, they're like a zombie, undead, Halloween, scary yellow color. So if you're looking for green and you see these wanting a natural looking green, I would not do it because you're going to end up looking like a corpse. And these are not contact lenses. You could probably get away with wearing in public unless you look different or you don't care if you look different or you know people stare at you but I quite like these I actually really really like these and I just wanted to say as well that last time I made a review for this company I had mentioned that um, the shipping took a very very long time well this time I made it a point to choose only US shipping just to see what the difference was and the difference was huge. These lenses got to me in about three to five days. They were very, very, very quick and I didn't have to wait at all. So again, like I said in, last, in the last video, just be sure that you choose the US shipping if you want to get them quick. All right, these lenses are called Taylor Violet. And I'm assuming after Elizabeth Taylor, because she's known to have violet eyes. Um, these are kind of underwhelming to me. I mean, they're obviously a different color than my normal color. So that's my normal color. Ooh, dog. Um, but yeah, they're not, for me, they're not purple or violet. They just look light, like maybe a grayish color. Um, they do have some interesting detail in them. Uh, you can see, you can see they've got like a lot of little squiggles and swirls in them so that they're not just one dimensional, which I, I like is pretty cool. Um, I had a really hard time deciding what lenses to try this time though, because, uh, everything that I wanted to try aside from the first pair, they were out of. So I would choose something, choose something else, choose something else, choose something else. And every single thing I chose they happen to be sold out of, which on the one hand, it's good because it means they're getting a lot of business. And on the other hand, sucked because I couldn't try what I wanted to try. So everything here, aside from the last pair I'm going to show you and the first pair I showed you are things that I just tried just because I had no other choice, but these are pretty, they've got great coverage. They're comfortable. The only thing is just that they don't really look purple or like, like the first pair to me. But if you're looking for a natural look, these are really good. All right. <laughs> I've never tried these before. I decided to see what these would look like on me. So I went for it. So these are cat eye white lenses. Now they also have a red pair, but talking to Josh, we decided that white would probably look better. And also the white blends in with the white of your eyes. And so it just, it's, it's more striking in my opinion, which I do agree with him that it was a good choice to try the, uh, you know, the white ones instead of the red ones. Now I haven't worn these long enough to know, but I think they probably move around as all, um, lenses do but um they look pretty cool I, I I actually like these more than I thought I would I don't know if I'd wear them anywhere because I'd be too worried and embarrassed that 
they would rotate in my eye and I wouldn't know and I'd walk around looking really wonky and really weird. But um, these are really comfortable. They don't minimize your vision or anything. And um, yeah, I, I'm more pleased with these than I thought I would be. And as I'm sitting here talking, I don't actually see them rotating like I thought they would. I'm sure over the course of the day they'll move, but for the time I've had them on, they haven't really budged. All right, these are called Sunset Blue, and I actually like them more under bright light than I did when I first tried them on. These reminded me of the rainbow ones I did in my first review, where they've got more than one color, or actually they remind me of the green and red ones, but those ones you couldn't really see the, um, the two colors as well as this. This makes it look like you've got two different colored eyes. I have the last pair that I'm gonna try on is the one that I used in my wig review video. So if you watched my wig review video, you'll already know the last pair. These are the other ones that I got. And I had thought that these would be really striking because it's pink and blue, and I thought that was very pretty, but they don't actually show up as much as you would think. They do show up enough to be noticeable, and you know, you rotate them around and get them looking the same. That's a little bit better. Um, but I kind of like the different colored eye look as well, but um, they are very beautiful lenses and I do really like them. I love this blend. I haven't seen it anywhere else. I mean, I might be missing it somewhere, but I really, really like the combination of these two colors. Last but not least, these are called Firmament Green probably because they're like a mix of green and brown, so it's like the earth. And actually, green is very, very compatible with brown. Like if you've got brown eyes, apparently green makeup looks really good and vice versa. And um, green eyes look really natural on people who have brown eyes. And I really love this color combination because it looks natural but weird at the same time. Depending on what color is showing, uh, how you rotate it, it can really look like you've got two different colored eyes and these are so striking and so beautiful. I love the coverage. I love these lenses to death. These are my favorite out of the whole set. Again, I love the two, you know, the two different colors in one. I'm going to, if I do another review for them, I'm going to see if they have any more like this because I really, really want to explore all the color combinations because I think that is just gorgeous. And if they rotate, it's all right because it looks like you've got two different colored eyes. And if you're wearing something with two different colors to start with, then you obviously aren't worried about looking natural. Um, but yeah, this is my second review for a DTLI. And I'm much happier with this round than I was the first round. I tried a bunch of different ones, much, much more impressed. The shipping was way faster. The lenses, for the most part, looked more striking, looked more beautiful. And, um, yeah, I, I found quite a few that I, I am going to be wearing more often. I've already worn these out and about. So, um, yeah, um, definitely recommend them. You should try them out and see what you think. If you do try anything from their site, let me know. Let me know what your favorites are. And if there's any other kind of lenses from them you'd want me to try next, costume lenses, rainbow lenses, double lenses like this, natural lenses, just let me know. And, um, the only thing I can't do are sclera lenses because those don't fall into the price range of, uh, what I'm allowed to review. But, um, maybe one day I'll be able to review some of those for you guys. But until then, this is what we're stuck with. But there's a lot of other options here that I don't have with color CL to show you as far as different colors and different costumes and all this other stuff. So, let me know what you think, which ones are your favorites, and I'm going to go and make the other contact lens review now, which I'm not looking forward to. Until then, take care, thank you for watching, and I'll see you probably in about five minutes.